All right, next case 18. Okay, Dr. Gardner, this is, this will be the last case I have to leave after that. No problem. I'm sorry for uh, keeping you guys so late. No problem. So this is, uh, well, at low power we see uh, bubbly or mucoid-like of uh, nodule in the middle of the, this biopsy. Uh, does not have the bluish tinge of uh, mucus at this power, but we can stain it to prove it. But like it is in the background of like a, a scar, and uh, with this bubbly background, with this bubbly appearance, and maybe there is some like or part before there are some like histiocytes. So this would be good for triamcinolone injection. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. So this is a, a, once you've seen it a few times, it's pretty characteristic. It kind of has a pale blue, pink to gray to blue, depends on the H&E appearance. And it's very bubbly because uh, this is injected steroids, canalog or triamcinolone injection. And this is, uh, it's bubbly because, you know, corticosteroids have, uh, are lipid based, right? And so some of it washes out, but some of the material stays here. And usually you're going to see this because they've injected a scar or a keloid and then it later gets surgically removed. And it can persist as a little pockets here in the middle of the dermis for quite some time after the injection, it seems like. I've seen cases where the injection was many months previously and they still had some of it there. And occasionally you can see histiocytes and even giant cell reaction around this, which is kind of interesting that, you know, it's a, it's a steroid that's supposed to inhibit inflammatory response, but the, but it still doesn't seem to deter always the histiocytes and giant cells. So the background is a very dense scar. This is old mature scar. I don't know how old, but it's like so dense and pink and it doesn't look like parallel fibroblasts here because uh, we're cutting them in cross section. They're actually coming out of the screen at us. That's why they look round. If we would be cutting them 90 degrees to this, they would look like parallel fibroblasts running parallel to the epidermis and fascicles. So yeah, this was a this was a, a dense, old, mature scar, maybe a hypertrophic scar, and it had a, a triamcinolone injection. So we just usually see this incidentally, but it's just important that when you see this, you recognize that's just injected steroid, and it, it's not uh, anything else. All right, good job. All right, so going forward, I'll just finish up the rest of the cases here and describe them and, um, and record the video. Anyone else, you guys are welcome to leave and go about your day.